It's the NBA on 2K Sports with Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan, and we're pleased to have on the sidelines tonight David Aldridge. Now the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Lopez is the pivot with Giannis to his side. Beasley on the wing along with Middleton. And it's Lillard in at the point. And for the Knicks, up front, it's Randall at the four and Hartenstein at the five. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Hart in at the three, the small forward. Well, Doris, get your entire roster sheet ready. These are teams, as you know, that will go deep into their benches. Well, particularly in the regular season, it's great for coaches, right? It allows them to play a variety of matchups, mix and match a little bit. The other thing keeps the locker room happy. Now, here's Lillard. Shot clock at five. And to Takumbo. No good with the layup. Hart the pass to Hartenstein. Lays it up off the glass. Always feels good getting that first one in the bank. And will that get him rolling? Will it get his team rolling? This should be an interesting night. Here's Beasley. And there's the drive. And it's Beasley finishing it off. Well, Malik Beasley, such a threat from deep. You've got to be near him. And that opens up this dribble drive game. That's pretty. Hartenstein passes to DiVincenzo. No good from outside. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Lillard misses. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. DiVincenzo kicks to Brunson. Back to Hart. Let's it go from deep. It's good from long range. You can't afford to let Hart get going from deep. He's ready to shoot it when given the opportunity. And we know they like having Brunson out there, Greg, a player they can run the entire offense through. No doubt. And he can be trusted on to take the keys and just run things effectively. He keeps mistakes to a minimum, and he's a solid creator for his team. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. What we know about Jalen Brunson is this guy is not afraid to take it to the cup. He's ready to challenge defenders. The Knicks shooting their first free throws of this. Shooting two. First free throw is good. When you look at this Knicks roster, Greg, this is a team that feels it can make a deep playoff push. And they have their stars. They have tons of young talent. Developing that talent and adding a piece or two should get them where they want to go. That one is no good. Boy, the maturation of Brunson is really special. This guy, phenomenal as scorer and facilitator. On to Nakumbo against Randall. Beasley for three. It's rebounded by New York. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Kept alive. Out to Brunson. Another shot. And stolen by Lou. Now the Bucks moving it up. Here's Anta Takumbo. Finished off the break. And what balance on the finish. Anta Takumbo, such a tough cover for the D. I got yours. I got yours. Brunson scanning the floor. On the wing, Di Vincenzo. Over Beasley. And the Knicks miss again. For Milwaukee, they've gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. And it's Lillard missing. For New York, they've gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Well, one of the last guys you want to send to the free throw line, Jalen Brunson has proven he can knock these in. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game.
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. A different look for New York. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for Hartenstein. And Ananobi subbed in for Julius Randle. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Bobby Portis is checked in for Lopez. Crowder comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Malik Beasley. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Lillard. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. And the Bucks with possession here. Trailing by two. Outside Crowder. Pass to Middleton. Over Hart. Middleton can't get it to go. And it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Now, here's Hart. He gets it in there. Hart's got five points so far. Yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. And this is why you get the ball into his hands. Let him establish the pace and rhythm of the game. Brunson against Beverly. Fades and shoots. And Middleton the bucket on the assist by Beverly. Yeah, Patrick Beverly making it easy for his teammate to score. Here's Brunson. It's rebounded by Portis. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Beverly looking around. Ananobi against Crowder. Back to Portis. Four on the clock. Connaughton passes to Crowder. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. And Ananobi slams it in. Well, as always, Jalen Brunson making the right play. This guy loves to set up his teammates. Beverly, the pass to Portis. Here's Connaughton. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Nice work to get it inside and drop contact. This is his first free throw of the game. An okay season at the free throw line for him so far, sitting right around 76%. And the first one drops. Alinari, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. He hits one and misses one, each at the line. The Knicks leading by three. Here's Bogdanovich. Jay Crowder with the rebound. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Here's Connaughton. Can't get it to fall. For New York, they've gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Right at the free throw line. Good. He hits the jump shot. Bogdanovich, such a nice offensive arsenal. He is capable of scoring from anywhere. Here's Beverly. No scoring in this one. To the paint. Stolen away. Here's Ananobi. And it's good for two. Boy, how do you match up with OG Ananobi's length and athleticism? This guy is going to be able to get shots off because of both of those. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Knicks lead by seven. And we'll be back right after this. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And looking at what we've seen from the Knicks so far, what do you guys think? Guys, I love their defense in that first period. They were in position and just challenging shots. 
Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. Here's McBride. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. Lopez is the pivot with Giannis to his side. Damian Lillard out there with Beasley. And it's Crowder in at the three. There's just an edge to Lillard's game. You better bring your A game defensively or he will eat you alive. The Bucks have shot two free throws and they're one of two so far. good Damian Lillard and extensive ball movement Doris is a beautiful style to watch but not every good team plays that way why not I think so much of implementation of style is about the players you have what are the strengths of your individual players does the point guard flourish in a pick and roll situation as opposed to ball movement does a point guard like Luka Doncic need the ball to be effective it's all about who your personnel is this is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. And they'll keep possession. Yep, it counts. Hartenstein's got the lead up to seven now for New York. And Lillard kicks to Lopez. Back to Lillard. That's tipped, and he gets it back. And they get it back. Here's onto Takumbo. Wow, Giannis with the strong finish inside. And this is where you feed Giannis. The closer he is, the more dangerous he becomes. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Beasley against Burks. Took him no time at all on that one. The assertive mid-range jumper from Beasley right there. You want to take away the three of the drive, I'll step into that sweet spot. Beasley against Burks. And the foul called on Antetokounmpo. That's foul number two for him. And the Bucks making a change here. Middleton's checked in. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Here's Brunson, count it from 12. Brunson's got five now. I think in today's NBA, you've got to be a three-level scorer. The midi is good for Jalen Brunson. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. New York City remains a basketball mecca. NYC legend and former Nick Mark Jackson always talks up the basketball environment. He says... Coming up in New York, it's all about the grit, the grind, the edge, the competitiveness, the swag, the confidence, the struggle, and the embracing of the bright lights. Kevin? Well, it's all there, and it is the biggest stage for sure. David, thanks. Hit the heart. Lock at six. And that's a foul called on Malik Beasley. That's his first foul. Yeah, clearly struggling here with the foul. Still early. And just one more will put him over the limit. Here's DiVincenzo. I'll tell you, you have to love the effort right there from Malik Beasley. Working overtime to create that coverage. Uh, how about the perseverance there? The extra effort on that offensive glass. Now here's Lopez. Still scoreless. Lillard outside. Takes a three. The shot misses. And so it's Art who brings up the ball for the New York Knicks. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. They're just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? And how about the attack there from Giannis inside? Going right into the defense and still able to get the shot up. For Milwaukee, they have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. And I think this is a strength of this team. Solid numbers at the line across the board, 77% collectively.
and he knocks down the first one. I think what makes Giannis special is how uncomplicated he is. The man is just an incredible, pure athlete who simply loves the game of basketball. That's all there is to it. The Knicks making a switch here. Ananobi's checked in. So he gets them both. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by, Randall outside. Launches it. After the Kumbo grabs the miss. Giannis has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Big time slam, Giannis! Oh my! Making it look simple. The athleticism of Giannis on full display. Up top, Randall. Lopez covering. Here's DiVincenzo. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. DiVincenzo's got four points this quarter. You know, Doris, something to admire about Julius Randall is the joy, the pure joy he takes in this game. Well, joy obviously comes when we're successful at something. And Julius Randle has become consistently successful at NBA basketball. He's worked hard to make that perimeter game as dangerous as his dribble drive game. And that kind of balance leads to great success. Now here's Beasley following the miss by Julius Randle. There's Giannis. Look out below. And one of the most athletic players in the league. Giannis makes those alley-oop jams look easy. Randall outside. Beyond the arc. And the three ball is good. And the Knicks lead by eight. He might not have the long range ability of some other guys, but he will knock down open ones like that. Here's Middleton. Second shot opportunity. And it's good on the layup. Middleton's got his second bucket. It's difficult trying to throw Middleton off his rhythm. Remarkable job staying with that shot. No one near Randall as he lets it go. Good on the triple. Randall's got the lead up to nine now for the Knicks. Lillard against Brunson. Lillard outside. Just five to shoot. The shot by Middleton, wide open. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. And guys getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Brunson. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Damian Lillard. Yeah, the defender all over him. He's made three of his four free throw attempts in the game. An 85% mark from the line. There aren't too many players in the league who are going to sport a much better percentage. Shooting two. And he makes the first for the Knicks. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for Julius Randle. Bogdanovich comes in for Josh Hart. And it's Burks in for Dante DiVincenzo. Both shots good from the strike. 23 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Beverly against Brunson. Brunson with some nice D. Bogdanovich finds Brunson. Over Beverly. Wow! Unbelievable! Can't do it much better than that right before the clock expires. What a way to seize momentum. Can it carry over into the next quarter? Beautifully done. And so it's New York with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. 
Thanks very much, Doc. I heard you imploring your team, stick to the game plan and know your personnel. What's that mean? Yeah, we keep messing up coverages, you know. I get messing up on some guys, but that can't happen, but it did. So we just got to move it forward. We'll see if the communication picks up. Thanks, Doc. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Boy, what a crowd joining us here for our halftime report. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel Shaquille O'Neal. New York holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They lead by 10. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on New York? They're running the offense beautifully this one. Working for good looks. The confidence looks sky high. It's going to be hard for that defense to disrupt their flow at this point. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Milwaukee? They wouldn't be in such a deep hole if they hadn't given up so many offensive rebounds. Getting out hustled, getting moved around, losing possessions. The one thing you can control is effort. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. You look at Enetokounmpo in this one. He's been everywhere. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. It felt like his work on the interior really gave this offense a boost. Let's see if he can dominate the rest of the way. The Knicks leading by 10. Up front, it's Randall at the 4 and Hartenstein at the 5. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Hart in at the 3 slot. That's the five for New York right now. And here's Randall. Pass to Hartenstein. Shot clock at six. Launches a three. Hart, that's good. Hart's got eight points. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Middleton against Hart. Shots good by Middleton. And that was a big time finish. Middleton with the strength now to get hit and still complete the play. Down low. Hart, that's good. Hart's got the lead up to 13 now for the Knicks. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. Lillard from outside. And another three for Milwaukee. And we've seen Lillard hit that shot before. He has no fear when it comes to the deep three. Here's Randall. Banked in off the glass. Eight points for him. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. New York leading by 12. Now DiVincenzo. Outside for Randall. They grab their own miss. A nice shot by Hartenstein. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Now here's Lopez. Nothing on the board. Good work there as it goes. Well, that leadership from Lopez, wanting to get his guys involved with his passing ability. And while we've got a moment, I'd send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, Kevin. Chris Middleton is a huge part of the Bucks' offensive attack. Giannis says we need him to be aggressive, taking over games. And asked whether down the stretch he needed to be the one to take over. Giannis says, nah, I trust this guy to death. If he wants the ball, he gets it. Simple as that. Kevin? You're so right, David. The trust factor is definitely there. Hey, thanks for the report. Here's Hartenstein. Even Shenzo can't hit it. Hansa Takumbo dishes to Lillard. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. 
Lillard's got it back down to within single digits for the Bucks. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. And sometimes from the outside, not always clear what led a coach to call for a timeout. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. Bucks with some changes. Bobby Portis has checked in for Lopez. Crowder comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Beasley. Here's Hartenstein. He's got eight. Now, here's Hart. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. I tell you, he has some impressive moves in his repertoire. That's as good as it gets, but just one of many. Yep, that one goes in there. Lillard's got eight points here in this quarter. And I love the tenacity, guys. He simply can will his way into games at times and exert his presence. Now, here's DiVincenzo. It's so about it's a Kumbo. The pass to Lillard. From deep. It's rebounded by New York. Was led by as many as 14 points. Beverly against DiVincenzo. Great D that time from Portis. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. Ananobi, no good. Bucks trail by nine. Here's Lillard. The 10-footer finds the target. Lillard's got 12 points in the game. Oh, taking what the defense is giving Lillard with an opportunistic shot there. Passes it to Hartenstein. Pass to DiVincenzo. Six to shoot. To the inside. And stolen by Portis. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. A different look for New York. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for Hartenstein. Bogdanovich comes in for Josh Hart. And it's Burks in for Dante DiVincenzo. Milwaukee also making some changes. Alinari comes in for Antetokounmpo. And it's Pat Connington in for Lillard. And so Ananobi will bring it up for New York. Seven-point differential. Burks with it. Still without a basket. Yep, that one goes. Boy, remarkable watching Alec Burks power through the defense. The Bucks have gone 6 and 9 from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. And Gallinari throws it down. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. So here's Burks driving in. Pass to McGraw. They get it back. Robinson off target at the rim. Bucks trail by seven. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Well, it's amazing. If you finish quarters the right way, it can have such a great impact on the outcome of a game. And the shot's good from Crowder. Crowder's got his first two points. I think the handles of Jay Crowder may catch some people off guard. This guy's a capable ball handler when given space. 
and a great show through three quarters as we enter the fourth. Who will carry the day? New York ahead, leading by five. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented as always by State Farm. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ball game. So with Lillard on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. Connaughton and Middleton share the wing duty. Bobby Porter's out there with Brooke Lopez, and it's Beverly in at the one. Bogdanovich against Middleton. Bogdanovich passes to Randall. His three-pointer is off the mark. Bucks trail by five. Middleton on the wing. He's guarded by Ananobi. Down low, Lopez. The layup off target. The next shooting straight, 49% from the field. Some nice passing by New York here. Here's Randall. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Brunson's got three assists in the game. Beverly, the pass to Portis. Now, Connaughton. Over Burks. No good from Connaughton. The Knicks leading by seven. Ananobi kicks to Brunson. Lays it up and banks it in. What you see is continued improvement in his ability to create for others. Great to see OG Ananobi make the open read. Middleton against Bogdanovich. Shot from 12. Shots good by Middleton. And that's the kind of move that will always pay off, even against tight defense like he was facing on that possession. Time out, time New York out. calls timeout. Different look for New York. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Ananobi. Josh Hart comes in for Bogdanovich. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Burks. The box also changing it up. Giannis, he's checked in for Portis. Malik Beasley comes in for Pat Connaughton. And Lillard subbed in for Patrick Beverly. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the break, I heard Tom Thibodeau as he talked with the team. Now he told his guys not to get comfortable. He said, so we've got a little breathing room. So what? That's no reason to slow down out there. He wants them to keep the effort up. Guys. Thank you, David. And out of the Kumbo with the jam. Every aspect of Giannis's game showing tonight. Just unreal. Steven Chenzo passes to Hartenstein. And they pick up two. 
That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. Beasley kicks to Lopez. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. Back to Beasley. Five to shoot. Hits the three-point bomb. Whatever this team has, Beasley wants to step up and deliver, particularly on the offensive end. And the pass to Hart. Back to Brunson. Up top, Randall. Over onto the Kumbo. And the rejection by onto the Kumbo. Beasley outside. Brunson against Lillard. And the dunk by Giannis. And you know, he knows he's the leader of this team. Giannis embracing the opportunity to come through with big baskets. Now here's Randall. Passes it to Brunson. Unable to get that one. Some solid defense from Andre Kumbo. To tie it up. Against contact. Giannis Andre the Kumbo forces it through. Contact just doesn't matter against Giannis. Once he's inside, he is not to be stopped. New York calls timeout. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? the Kumbo. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. Right, everything they're doing is working right now. Good run they have going right now. The momentum is huge. Can't connect from 13 feet up. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Knicks. Back to DiVincenzo. Looking to get it going. Count the basket and the fun. It's on Daniel Lillard. And that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. The throw drops for DiVincenzo. You get the sense this guy relishes getting to the free throw line in these tough moments. You talk about clutch, this guy is it. Loads it up for Giannis. Throws down the alley and slam. And a big time playmaker. When the game is up for grabs, give the rock to Giannis. Brunson against Lillard. Brunson the pass to Hartenstein. And here's Brunson. Shoots over Lillard. Pass to Brunson. And it's sent back by Lillard. To take the lead. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And that one sends the bitch 
into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. Could be a turning point. Critical possession right here. Brunson against Lilly. Let's it go from 11. That's the deep Vincenzo. Middleton against Hart. Six on the shot clock. Here's Hartenstein. Good! And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. And so now a timeout called by Doc Rivers. There's 14 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Onto the Kumbo, looking it over. But Trey can't get the three to fall. New York takes timeout. count. Oh, couldn't sink the shot, and we're going to overtime. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break.
And now we get set for overtime in what has been a stirring contest. And Milwaukee has possession. And it's Lillard with the ball. He brings it up for Milwaukee. Josh Hart out there with OG Ananobi. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's Hartenstein in at the center. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Three-pointer, Lillard drops in the train. Lillard's got it all tied up now for Milwaukee. That's one of those clutch shots he's known for. When the pressure is timeout, high, timeout. he seems to be the most locked in. New York calls Sorry. timeout. Here's Brunson, and he comes up with the deuce. Jalen Brunson wants the ball in these moments, and there he shows you why. Big time shot. Timeout called the Bucks. Julius Randle's checked in for the Knicks. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Milwaukee. Chris Middleton comes in for Crowder. Milwaukee's gone one of two so far in their three-point attempts in overtime. The kick out to Lopez. The three-pointer off the mark. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Here's McBride. Here's Hartenstein, and a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. And it's a four-point Knicks lead. You're fighting to keep the possession alive, something this guy does so well. Lillard against Brunson. That one goes in. Proof positive that Lillard is worthy. That's talent you can build a franchise around. The pass to Brunson. Over Lillard. Brunson, no good. Bucks have gone two of four on their shots here in overtime. Beasley dishes to Lillard. High stakes moment, but Dane is a high percentage free throw shooter. He knows he's got this.
the first one, and that narrows the gap to one. And, you know, such a fierce competitor. Lillard can score from anywhere on the court, and there's no one you'd rather give the ball to with the game on the line. Dante DiVincenzo, he's checked in for the Knicks. He hits both from the strike. But those were essential. Very steady work at the free throw line in a very tight game. Brunson goes in. And he banks in the lane. Brunson's got four this quarter. You want the ball to find its way into Brunson's hands in these big time moments. He relishes the opportunity. And the Bucks miss again. Boy, again, so little defensive pressure. You have to convert that. Oh, yes. goodness. Julius Randle under tremendous pressure with the big bucket. And it's Milwaukee's ball. Trailing by four. Three-pointer Lillard. It counts. And that shot brings them to within just one. This is what he's known for. When it's an important possession, Lillard knows how to come through. Here's Brunson. Lopez with the block. As break, Milwaukee. Over in the corner, Lillard. To take the lead, Portis trying to free himself. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. You know, Dane loves to test the defense like that. Runs up against it and then outworks them. Shoot two. He sinks the clutch free throw. So both free throws good that time. That puts him ahead. Yeah, critical that he's able to convert there. Now they've taken the lead. New York calls timeout. They're trailing by one. 17 seconds left in overtime. Guys, what's your take? This is where great coaching can pay dividends. Well, this is a chance to take the lead. So you've got to draw up a play to make it happen. Brunson. Oh, that shot had a chance, but no good. So a close game sees Milwaukee taking this one. They had to scrape and claw to push it to overtime, but they really came on in the extra period. What a ride. I mean, I, I thought it might end in regulation, but you know what? They came through big and did exactly what was necessary once we got into OT. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you very much, Damian. This game went back and forth. What happened in the second half? Uh, they started off the game really well, and we expected that. You know, so we just had to weather that storm, you know, keep our composure um, and understand what it took to take over the game. And we matched that. Um, and it was who was going to come out and have a better start to the third. And we knew it wasn't going to be about offense. We knew it was going to be about defense. So 
we turned it up on the defensive end, and I thought that was where we, where we separated ourselves. That was the difference tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, DA, thanks again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.